Okay, um, 500 yeah, subscribers. Why? You know what every YouTuber says when they hit a big milestone? Oh, oh, call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! Yeah, imagine me telling all of those things right now. I'd love to make a 500 subscriber special. We've got a few ideas, but I'm having a little too much fun with these devlogs. So I really hope you understand, and let's get on with the video. Hey. I added a save system. It's not often that you see someone make a save system in their second devlog. When I was making my old game, I made a save system at the very end and it was so painful that I don't want to even talk about it. So I started making one using JSON. Now I know JSON makes it exploitable and the players could just change it but it's better than not having a save system at all. Like Hollow Knight's benches, I thought of having shops or stalls as checkpoints. So if you die, you get sent back to the last stall. We need some threats in this world, so I made this mushroom enemy. He just walks around for now, but you can beat him up if you really want to. I messed around with Godot's time scale for the first time, and I gotta say that little freeze when you hit that enemy really makes a difference. Now about world management. I could use multiple scenes per room in the game, but saving things is going to be a little bit more complicated. But having one big scene for the entire map makes things saving a lot easier, but it's going to be laggy further on in the game. I asked Good Kiss about how he did it with his game Dewdrop Dynasty, but it looks like it's a little too complicated for an explanation over Discord. So I'm asking you guys for help. Let me know if there's a way to load entities based on where the player is standing in the world. Okay, so as a game dev, you should like your beans. Open up your browser and type in bean2.studio. Yeah, bean2 is officially live, here is the team. We're working on a cool game, so you might want to stay tuned. The Bean2 Discord server is also there, so you can join and talk with people. Also join my Discord. I also spent some time improving the melee combat system. Previously, it was just a big circle collider that hits anything in the radius. But I made it a lot similar to Hollow Knight. And I'm sorry if the video is short, I'm focusing a little bit more on my school lately, and I'm also still planning on most of the game. As I said in the last video, I'll be giving shoutouts to content creators that are under 1000 subscribers. Today's shoutout goes to Full Moon. He uses the Unreal Game Engine and he's working on a game called well, Full Moon. The devlogs are really entertaining and it would be great if you can go check them out. If you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe and leave a like. And if you don't like the video, then still like the video. Uh, see you in the next one. Yeah, yeah. I am the best boy around me because the fact I'm a male If I were leaving the comfort of my home, I believe I would fail And it went up to a man and said hello, then I bail I'm insecure, but I got 97 reasons why to look at a bird Hey, hey no, I grab my statue, went to that Beretta Don't pull up just for the cheddar I make rhymes that make them better, make them better Then your homies biting on my stop Got the best, so call me cop I've been cooking in the kitchen, bro, so kill me I need a move like Golden Killer